When you hear the name JetBlue, you probably think airline, flying. But here in Silicon Valley, the company is branching out into venture capital. JetBlue Technology Ventures invests in, incubates, and partners with early stage startups at the intersection of tech and travel. The firm's president sat down with Bloomberg's Scarlet Foo as part of Cornell Tech at Bloomberg's speaker series to talk about why an airline needs a venture capital arm. We do a lot of innovation internally, um, but we had to start thinking about innovation from the outside in mm -hmm. without shutting down what's already going on internally. So the idea was to be out in Silicon Valley separate from the airline um, so we can move quick uh, and nimble. But with corporate venture capital, one of the challenges and over the, the history, it's at CVC is what it's called, has a bit of a checkered history. Uh, and often it was because someone from the parent company would go out and start investing but not understand the venture world. Or someone from venture would start investing but not understand the parent company. And the whole point of corporate venture is strategic investments. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand both. So what we did is, um, so I obviously understand the, um, the JetBlue in all different departments. So my prior job was head of talent. So I had the wonderful opportunity to hire most of our officers and directors or do promotions. So yes, I even helped Robin uh, uh, promote into the CEO role. I actually hired my uh, boss. I thought, I thought you tried to stop that. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, but I did hire my boss uh, as well, uh, uh, Ish Sundaram, who's uh, our chief digital officer. And um, so we wanted, I wanted to have someone who would also understand venture. So the idea was moving out to Silicon Valley and I brought on uh, our managing director Raj Singh who has you know, deep connections into Silicon Valley and fortunately I'm from that area too. So the two of us then built out a, built out a team. We've since expanded it. So we have an investing side and we have an operating side. Mm -hmm. but the whole idea is we invest and yes we want to invest for a return but it's much more about the strategic value to JetBlue. How can we increase revenues, reduce cost, enhance safety, or improve customer service? Uh, so that we measure, we measure those. And that's how um, our portfolio works out. And it's in the end, but that nice balance. So a startup, right now, it's, it's easy for startups to get money, relatively right. easy. Uh, it's, it's a lot harder for a startup to get access to a company like JetBlue. So we give them money and access. And that's the magic sauce. So you mentioned strategic a couple of times yes. in answering that. Uh, how much of the motivation is financial? Um, there's now clearly we want to make investments that are wise investments. So we're not going to invest in a company unless we think they're going to succeed, make money. Now they may not have a quick exit. We're not looking necessarily for the 10x or 100x. Mm -hmm. um, will they provide insights and value to JetBlue? So I might get the 10x in the return to JetBlue as opposed to the return when they exit, perhaps. Um, so but there is a. There's certainly a level of, I mean, the team is incented to make sure we have good financial investments. But if when I go into a room and I'm with other VCs, they're, they're, they're focusing on one, one thing, right? A return. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the return and the strategic value. I would say the strategic value is far more important than a financial return. What, 70, 30, 80, yeah, 20? Yeah, I would say 70, 30, 70, okay. 30. Do the portfolio companies need to be ones that could potentially partner yeah. with JetBlue or could be folded into what you do? or do they have to be connected to transportation in any way, or could it just be a really cool idea that you like? Well, actually, it's, that's a really good question. So um, we think of, of Jet, we're, we're here to support JetBlue now, so about 40% of our investments are for d deployment at JetBlue within the next year or two. About 60% of what Jet, JetBlue might be, so the mm. infamous saying, you know, with Wayne Gretzky, we, sp we skate not to where the puck is, but where the puck might be, right, mm -hmm. in the future. So we're looking at five, ten years out, and technologies, you know, one of the startups that we, we worked with um, early on, they had six people, they were coming out of MIT, they had this really cool weather sensing um, product, but didn't quite know what to do with it. We partner with them. They're now, I think they're already on, a, on a, their Series B. They're deploying across uh, um, insurance and auto uh, um, automobiles and uh, um, in uh, outdoor sports and such. Really, real accurate prediction in the teams quadrupled since then. So What's the name of that company? It's a company called Climacel. Mm -hmm. I highly encourage, it's unbelievably accurate weather prediction and sensing, because they use cell towers. Think of radar. Mm -hmm. Radar is not all that accurate, because it's broad. Th think of how many cell towers there are. It turns out 
There's these smart MIT PhDs that figured out that the type that uh, cell signals attenuate differently depending on the type and intensity of weather.